Hi guys, this is my meow bit. It's exactly like a micro bit, but with screen here. It has the pins like a micro bit. The walk buttons here, A and B buttons, a speaker, off and on switch, SD card slot, and a USB plug. Let's turn it on. Here's a program that uh, is on screen on the PC right now, and I'll show you guys right now. Here is the Microsoft Mail Code web page. Let's scroll down and click on the arcade. This will take us to Microsoft Arcade MailCode.com. Now let's make a project and call it Matrix 25. Let's create a project. As you see, start block is already here. I'll set all my sprites. The sprites will be an M. Now let's click on the little box right there and I'll draw this little M here. The image is 30 by 30 pixels. I'll draw the M quickly here. I'll put cyan on the M to do some contrast. Okay, yeah. Now we need to go to scenes and add a background color. This will add a background color to our project. See, at the left is a little like Game Boy, and is it? It's a little M with yeah background. I I will set it to yellow. Okay, now. We'll go and need to set a start screen effect. It will set an effect like confetti. You see, it will rain confetti down. I will change the back of the green because it looks much better. This is a block for button A. Everything that's inside the block for button A will be done when button A is pressed. Now, let's set the initial position of M. Let's set it to the start block. The position of the M will be set on the middle left of the screen. You can set the position directly or by using those drag things on the when you click X and E. Okay, now let's set a block. When A button is pressed, the sprite or the M will be moved 10 steps on the X position. Now I will duplicate the A button and now every time I press B, it will go backwards. The M will go backwards by minus 10 on the X position. You can change to any button. For instance, if I press the up button, now it will change by minus 10 or by 10 now. So now if I press the up button, M will be moved with 10 steps of the X position. Now let's change it back to B and minus 10. I'll drag a button block and set it to left. So every time I press left and everything inside the button block will be executed. Now I will drag a set back on floor 2 and a start screen effect. I set the background color to gray. It, lo it looks like gray, but it's bla actually black, black. And I set the star field effect. So it looks a bit like stars here. But it was kind of ugly, so I changed the effect bubbles and I changed the background color to side. And also I put an end screen so that uh, the weed confetti will be removed and instead we were spraced with bubbles. Now I'll bring another button block. This time, every time I press right, there will appear some text near the M. Let's put hello for one second. That means every time I press left, the M will say hello. 
This was just some examples to understand how the project was made. This is the main project. I can see all the sprites, letters and numbers are here. And on, on start, we set the positions to all the letters and numbers on the start. As you can see, it's easy to draw a sprite on the arcade. In this main program, I've repeated the steps that I showed you in the beginning of the video. For instance, button A controls movement on X direction for all sprites. When button A is pressed, all letters are going right. And when button A is pressed, all numbers are going left. When the B button is pressed, it resets the sprite position, the background color, and the conflict effect as they were in the beginning. Here are the blocks for up, down, right, and left buttons. If, if for instance, if we press up or down, it will change the background and add some effects. If we press the left button, it will show some text. And if I press the right button, it will show subscribe to Motex 25. It, and it's a pretty smart thing to do. And now the program is loaded in the mail bit. As you can see, if I press A, the, the X of the text is changed, exposition, and if I press B, it resets the, everything. If I press the up button here, it changed the background. If I press the down button, it changed the background as well. If, if I press the left button, it shows some text. And if I press the right button, it shows something that all people should do. Subscribe to Matis25. That's all. Thank you for watching the short introduction of Microsoft Arcade Make Code for Meowbit. If you like this video, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.